this is what we're gonna play with. It's a nice mix bush, and this one with the butterflies is so super cute because they already come on the bush. We're gonna start with a couple of these and make a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wreath. Okay, I'm gonna work on an 18 inch wreath base. Let me show you the ribbons I have picked out too. Yellow, 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 and look what we're gonna use for our little accent color, that little pop of black. Won't that be fun? That's gonna be fun. All right, we're gonna start off with a little greenery. I'm gonna turn that to you guys a little bit. So let me put this greenery in. This is a cute little eucalyptus. It's got this nice little bend to it and I love it. All right, first thing, let me see. I think I'm gonna get this going this way. Let me give it a little rotation. I'm not gonna put the hanger on first today. We'll, we'll do it later. I'm going to put this in up here to get my shape going on. I think I'm gonna do something a little bit different just for fun. That's the idea, That's, we're gonna play. All right, let me cover up this glue. I have no yucky glue showing. I don't want to see that. I'm using these two together. If you get a, a bush like this, you can always cluster them, right? Can do it. All right, I'm going to put this one right here. Well, you guys, if you don't know, I'm down here in Houston area. Uh, we are... We actually live in Sugarland, but we are have a warehouse in Richmond, so we just claim it all as Houston. You can find us on a map easier that way. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more maybe right in here. And then I think we're gonna be ready for our yellow flowers. I'm just getting this nice and kind of filled out pretty. I'm gonna leave a spot for a big, big bow. You know, for if you ever need stress relief, Come and watch any of the wreathers, the crafters. Um, if you want to take up a hobby, you can. Just anything to get your mind off of what you're going through. It's always helpful. It really will help. And you might meet a friend. Okay, look. Here's what we got so far. It looks kind of crazy. We're gonna get we're gonna get it going. Let's get the yellow flowers rocking and rolling. Because I definitely want to use these next. So I'm gonna take these and cluster them in a little cl cluster. All right, let me start to get a pop of yellow in here. I'm gonna give these a bend because I want them facing out. I don't want them flat and they need to be happy. Coming out smiling. And I'm gonna get some moss on there and kind of make them sit up with this moss. Get in there, buddy. Let me put a little bit more. I don't want you rotating down. I'm putting that on the glue guys to help directionally hold them and make them look up pretty. Okay, so the first one's going on. All right, let me get a berry in here. We do have some orange butterflies. I'm gonna be really, um, really think about where I place these. This is gonna be our real pop of color, okay? So I'm really gonna be watching when I put those in. So I'm gonna put the orange off to the side for just a second, and we'll put those in separately. So you're learning how, you wanna learn how to put more greenery in and learn all that? Yeah, well, we, we do all kind of fun stuff like that in our design school where we teach more specific uh, skills. But hang out with us, come by and see us here. We have a really, really neat thing that's happening to our blog right now where it's being turned into a library and I'm so excited and proud of my team who's working on it. So um, stay tuned y'all, good things are coming. We're gonna try to help you with all the things you need help on so you can get better at your floral designing and if you want to eventually sell your pieces, we can help you with that too. It's, it, we're just here to support you. And whatever you want to do, if you like flowers, like to create with them, you're in the right place. I'm just making my little clusters. I'm going to work my way around the base. I picked a big base for y'all today. It's an 18 inch or so. It might take me a little bit longer. I do need to keep an eye on the clock though, because I have to be at high school. So we're good. Okay, we're good. We're doing good. We might have to put it in speed mode. Hustle. Hustle. I can hustle though. Should be necessary, I can put the, put the burner on. <laughs> okay, so I've got some butterflies. We're gonna do them in a minute, but I need to get some more daisies. I'm using two bushes on this because it's a larger wreath base. If you wanna go smaller, you could. Okay, I'm trimming it all down. I put these two together. I'm gonna put another daisy in there and kind of bring it down a little bit. I'm thinking those monarchs will look so cute with the um, the pop of black we're putting in the ribbon too. 
But if you don't want the, the butterflies in the bush, you can always just save those for another pro uh, project. You've got options. Good lore. All right, let me get another big, pretty uh, chunk right there. Put another little chunk right there. Y'all, y'all make pretty wreaths. It's not gonna be difficult to sell them because they're gorgeous. They are gorge. Okay, let me get some more moss in here and I'm gonna put that on. Y'all, all these supplies are on cleaves.com and we are gonna have a supply list for you. I've gotten all my main flowers in. I've been left with just a little bit of uh, monarchs that we'll use towards the end because I, I don't maybe don't want all of these. We'll have a little bit of um, give or take. All right, we're gonna use this long spray now and bring this in. I'm gonna bring some towards the top up here and we'll get it in first. And this time we're gonna do this wreath with all the same color, no contrasting color, just for this big pop of yellow. I'm into this lately. I go through stages, what I love, what I wanna do differently. It's just fun. Looky here, what we got so far. Now, I need to tie a bow. I'm gonna get the bow in and then we can pop, we can pop it. Pop it like it's hot. I'm gonna scoot you guys back a little bit, make a little bit of room to tie a bow. Come on over here. We're gonna go to the table. You're on. Let's go, here's one yellow coming out. These are actually all kind of different tones of yellow. And the same thing goes for the piece. Yes, everybody's yellow, but some are darker, some are lighter, some have a little cream. Of course, we're gonna pop it with the black. And hopefully the butterflies will look good with it, even though they're that monarch or orange color. We're, we're hoping. Drop this one in here. Okay. And once again, just let us know. Get all of your uh, supply list. I mean, let us know in the comments. We need the supply list and we'll post it for you. We're gonna put this one in the back first with some long, beautiful tails. And I'm gonna give that a trim. It's like a 20 inch tail. Y'all can catch our Bow Wednesday videos for more help with making bows. I'm just going to kind of make this one. Hopefully you can see it, but. Um... Let's put this big beauty in. I'm gonna kind of put her cockeyed a little. Oh gosh, she's gonna look good in there. Really, really good. And you can go with a simple bow too. You don't have to have a big, big one. You can go either direction. And then we're gonna start to fill in with the other, a um, little bit more yellow. But I just wanted to get her in her place first. Let me trim. I got my work belt on and I forget my tools over there. Get them in the belt. I'm gonna bring these to the back first. Get these in the very back. So make sure you do that. You can tell your tails where you want them to go. You just pull them around some of the florals. Or you can always put your bow in first if you want, if you're more comfortable doing that. I'm just going to bring these down. These down. Let me curl up some of the center and then we will start adding more and more floral. Look, this is really pretty. Come over here. Y'all need to come up forward a little bit. How's that? It turned out pretty. It's a more traditional bow, not quite as much a Kalibo, but well, I'm gonna I'm gonna love it as much as y'all are. Okay, let's bring over the rest of my florals that I moved out of the way. Excuse me, a close up. I'm gonna put some more twig in, and then I'm gonna put in the uh, cute little daisies. I'm just gonna give this some motion, and I'm cutting it in a couple of places just because that works the best here. I know that all the yellow is really working. And can you imagine this on a door? It's really, really gonna look good because when you make something that your customer's gonna use on their front door, think about um, how is it going to look from the street? Of course, we want it to look beautiful up close, but what is gonna make your customer feel good is when their neighbors say, oh my God, look at her wreath. <laughs> yeah. 
imagine you're gonna provide that joy for somebody? I think that's so neat. Let's put this one right here above the bow. We didn't put we didn't put some of the bigger daisies there, but we'll fill in that with oh yeah. Oh now we're talking. <laughs> oh yes, it would be beautiful on a black door. Oh my gosh, it would pop off. Okay, now I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna swoop back up with this guy. Oh, I love these. Oh, that looks good. Okay, let's get those daisies in right now. I truly hope we inspire you to make something gorgeous and get out of your comfort zone. Make something, you know, uh, make something out there that's different. Dimension, movement, texture. That's all the fun stuff. I'm gonna come in right above here this guy in oh yes that's gonna get out these are low these are high let's put this one in next I'm gonna put a little bit more in this area and I think I have one more little piece of greenery if I do I'm gonna add it in here too I feel like we need a little bit more Okay, two more daisies. Let me step back for a second. Oh, yes, this is pretty. How about one down here? I love this daisy bush because of the length on it. I think it works so well. I'll go down here. Okay, let's see if we like the butterflies or not. Let's see, I'm not gonna glue them yet. I'm just gonna pop a few in. Let's see, and we'll, we can let you guys vote on the butterflies. Tell me if you're team butterfly, or not, let's just not bring in the orange. I'm gonna glue these in when I get back from seeing Kaya at school, guys. But let me put a couple more. Okay, one, two, three, four up there. One, two, three down here. Let's put, let's go five above and three below. I think that's gonna work perfect. And it really will sell sell the butterflies yeah i want a little more greenery over here yeah i'm gonna have to get one more greenery bush so we'll we'll change the supply list we're gonna need three greenery bushes guys because i want a little more right below that bow right here we need a little something right here but in the meantime what do you think what do you think let me stand back let me give you a close-up a close-up stand backer of the whole thing do you think I think it turned out super duper cute I love it y'all I had fun making this all yellow piece with you it was a lot of fun creating together hope you enjoyed visiting with us here in the oh look that piece of greenery is right here I'm stepping on it wait haha -ha. oh wait two more pieces maybe we don't need another bush wait hold hold please Maybe this will be the perfect. I knew I had one more piece. Let's go right behind the bow. I think we can stick with two greenery bushes. There we go. <laughs> okay, we did it. It's so super fun. I enjoyed hanging out with you. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you soon. Go have fun with flowers, everybody. Bye.